Hi, this is Sarah Levis from Girl with a Cane, and this is the video post for our Torn About Rick Santorum. I've watched almost all of the Republican presidential debates this time around, and I've come away from all of them with a couple of consistent impressions. One of the strongest has been, I don't like Rick Santorum. I don't like his stance on homosexuality and gay and lesbian civil rights. I don't like his stance on abortion. I don't like how he intends to balance the books in the U.S. And I especially don't like the video to which I've linked below. Rick Santorum and people with intellectual disabilities. It seems inappropriate to me that he uses Bella his daughter with trisomy 18, which is like Down syndrome, but more severe, to generate warm, fuzzy, vote for me feelings. Granted that some of the services that he's pledged to cut will be services that will affect her ability to get a good education, good health care, and to enjoy a stable future. And I've linked to the uh, video of Rick Santorum talking about Bella. For an excellent breakdown of why this video is offensive, see the following link. And I've linked to the uh, to the Bad Cripple blog, which talks about it much better than I do. However, at a symposium on November 21st, Rick Santorum told a deeply personal story about how for the first couple of months of Bella's life, he actually withheld love from her figuring that doing so would make it easier to take when he lost her, as all of the doctors told him was inevitably going to happen. The story of Bella's birth and first few months is too reminiscent of what many parents of children with Down syndrome say that they go through right after their children are born. And I included a link to a post that I wrote about this. Santorum and his wife were told that Bella would soon die, were encouraged to let go, and had to fight to get a prescription for oxygen for her when they took her home from the hospital. The doctors apparently didn't feel that her life was worth fighting for. However, the little girl that the doctor said wouldn't live a week is now three years old, and Santorum is obviously committed to making sure that these children that doctors want to give up on get a chance. Rick Santorum talks about all this in this video taken at the November 21st symposium and I've linked to that video. Rick Santorum, you were doing so well. You'll notice that the title on that page is watch this Rick Santorum video and not cry. I couldn't. Until I heard him talk about how in societies where there's socialized medicine, children like Bella die. This is simply not true. Nations with universal health care do not single out children with disabilities as targets for death. There does seem to be a perception among the medical community that some children are too disabled to bother giving intensive life-saving treatments, but newsflash, that happened within Santorum's own family, within the good old USA, with its decidedly non-socialized health care. Then I was just annoyed again. And so, I'm just still torn about Rick Santorum. However, politicians are people too. I found George Bush's press secretary, Tony Snow, appallingly annoying. I couldn't even really say why. I think I wondered how he could sleep at night doing the job that he was doing. I had zero respect for him. After he died of cancer, I saw a couple of documentaries about him. I saw that he was actually a pretty stand-up guy. He was devoted to his family He'd hosted Fox News Sunday, one of the only Fox News shows that I find even remotely balanced. 
and it seemed like he'd done a lot of good in his career. Since then, I've tried hard to keep reminding myself that politics just isn't an arena where the likable parts of people often get to shine. I know from watching the bit of the November 21st Centaurum video that made me cry that we probably share some core beliefs and values about people with intellectual disabilities that could probably keep us talking for a while. Would Rick Santorum and I be lifelong friends? Would I vote for him if I was able to? Probably not. But he's a person too. And isn't this all about looking at our commonalities more than our differences? I would just hope that he would show me the same respect. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.